Hello, Laverne here, and thank you for joining me. This video is going to be on the topic of Christians and television. What do you think uh, about Christians watching TV? Can uh, the programs we watch and how much we watch and how we spend our time uh, uh, in front of the tube, can it affect our salvation and can it affect the rewards that we receive in heaven? This is what I'd like to talk about here and discuss. And the reason I'm making this video is because a uh, sister in Christ asked me what I thought about it. Now, to begin with, I'd like to state that I believe the denomination that you belong to or the doctrine and the theology that you adhere to is going to affect uh, not only what you think on this topic, but it's going to affect to what degree and the importance that you place upon it. Because if you are a universalist, just for example, and you believe that everyone come Judgment Day is saved, even Satan, then what we watch on television, how we spend our time, is not going to affect our salvation. And if you are a uh, person who believes in radical grace and believe that uh, once saved, always saved, or uh, another way of putting it, uh, uh, if you believe in eternal salvation beginning from the point that you accept Christ, then you also will believe that how we spend our time and what we watch on TV is not going to affect our salvation, though it could possibly affect uh, the rewards that we receive in heaven. But if you believe, as I do, that salvation is, is not by faith alone, that salvation is by faith and works, and that we need to walk out our salvation, and if you believe, as I do, that faith without works is dead, then how we spend our time, what we spend our time doing, what we laugh at, what we are repulsed by, all of these things are going to affect our salvation. And not only affect our salvation, but certainly going to affect the rewards that we receive in heaven. What kind of jewels and the such we uh, will find in our crowns. So this is what I believe. Now, that's why I believe what I do. It's because of my thinking on salvation. So now I'd like to talk specifically about television. Uh, I guess a, a good place to begin is uh, acting itself. Who introduced acting to the world? Is it something of God or of someone else? Because when we look at where acting was introduced and when it came about, we see that it was in fact Satan that introduced it through a pagan and hedonistic culture. Because it is the Greeks who introduced acting to the world. And it is the Greeks who made it prominent. And then from there, a little bit by the Romans as well. And then it was almost forgotten about until the 16th century, which coincidentally is also the time that uh, the Reformation took place. So we see a reintroduction of acting in the 16th century along with the Reformation. And I, I can't stress enough the importance of understanding the roots of acting, that it is a pagan art. We need to consider this, and when we look at this, it, it falls into place, and it makes perfect sense when we look at the industry today and realize that the television industry and other mediums as well, such as magazines, uh, uh, book publications, the news media, uh, the music medium, when we look at these things, we see that they are very much controlled by pagans, by people living and who adhere to and promote a hedonistic lifestyle, an atheist lifestyle. And that's what we see happening today. Christians, though, are falling right into this. Christians have become desynthetized to sin. And one of the reasons Christians have become desynthetized to sin is partly because of false doctrines, but also because of uh, the things that we see in the different mediums today, whether it be the internet, television, uh, music, or on the radio, or whatever. Satan is very much in control, and one of the things he uses to, to uh, promote his plan, his idea, is acting. Satan has a long-term plan, just as God does. And Satan's long-term plan, it uses both macro and micro levels. Satan works at the macro level through uh, big tragedies, large 
uh, mishaps, uh, both in individuals and in nations. So Satan will work uh, through, uh, through tragedy to try and knock people off, Christians off the narrow path. But Satan also works on the micro level. He works to change us, to change our mindset, to change our heart condition a little bit by little bit. And he does this through our senses, what we take in, what we see, what we hear. And so we need to guard our eye gates and to guard all of our senses. Ask yourself, when you are watching the different TV programs, have you become desensitized to sin? Are you laughing at the things that God detests, that you know God hates? Because if you are laughing at the very things that God hates, then the chances are you're the chances are that you are not saved. You really should be questioning your salvation. Because if you have the blood of Christ flowing in you, if you have an indwelling of the Holy Spirit, if you have had a, a, a new and regenerated heart, if you have renewed your mind, then there is no way you could laugh at things that disgust God. You could no, in no way laugh at things that you know God hates. You would be turned away from. You would reject you would find these things unclean in, in such a way that you would be prompted to turn off the TV when you see these things when you see these acts of sin being committed but that is not the case with most Christians today they accept they have become desensitized and they even laugh at the things that God hates and so TV, the big screen, all of these different mediums have had a very negative impact on Christians, on the church, and on the bride of Christ. So can television affect our salvation? Can it affect the rewards we receive in heaven? Absolutely. We were not put on this earth to be entertained. We were not placed here to become self-indulgent and to become self-absorbed in being entertained. We were placed here to work. That is our purpose. And as Christians, we are to work for the kingdom of God. So if you are spending anywhere from 10 to 35 hours a week watching television, but only spending two to three hours a week pressing into God through prayer and reading scripture and meditating on his word, then you have placed something else ahead of God. God is not number one in your life. And if he is not number one, you need to consider whether or not you are truly safe. Are you really walking out your salvation? Are you living in righteousness and holiness? Or have you placed idols above God? Consider these things. And I also know that there will be people who will say, well, God uses TV to promote his kingdom, to promote the gospel through the different TV evangelists. But I would say that some of the highest paid actors on TV are TV evangelists. You look at people like Benny Hinn, Jakes, Cleflo Dollar, Paula White, all these different people who are promoting a prosperity gospel. These people are some of the some of the greatest and, and most well paid actors that there are on TV. And they are using their acting ability to promote a false gospel. All right, uh, as always, I look forward to comments and messages. Until next time, peace and blessings.